Genesis 6, 4. Ha Nephilim Hayu Va'aretz Ba'yamim Hahem Vagam Achare Chen Asher Yavau Bene Elohim El Benot Ha'adam Va'yaladu Lachem Hema Hagiborim Asher Me'olam Anashe Hashem this verse doesn't begin with a vav or any kind of connector, a little unusual. It just begins with a subject, ha nephilim. And we tend to not uh, translate that in English usually, but if we were, you can see that the uh, root is made up of nun pe lamed, which we would uh, characteristically translate as fallen. So here, I'll go that way. The fallen ones, they were upon the earth. And notice we have, um, in those days, uh, in the days, those ones, in those days, and also after this, which, and here it's probably easier to say, when, when the sons of God came to the daughters of uh, the human beings, or humankind, and they bore for them. Uh, they were the mighty ones who were from forever, here from antiquity. Olam can be either a long time past or a long time future. So here we'll say they were the they were the mighty ones from antiquity, men of the name, in the sense of the name perhaps the sense of uh, renown or reputation, but the name. Bayamim ha-hem. Here we see the subject pronoun hem, or it can be the demonstrative pronoun as it is here. And in this case, it functions just like an adjective, so it needs to agree with the noun, in this case days, in gender, number, and definiteness. And it does all of that. We have the, um, and we also have the article on in the days, the, those ones, in those days. Yavo'u, this comes from Bo, Beit, Vav, Aleph, and here we have Kal, imperfect, uh, 3MP. So the subject is the sons of God. And it's called a hollow because the middle letter falls out. And we have Yod Lamed Dalet. And this is a Kal um, Vav consecutive perfect, perhaps. Or perhaps it's a conjunctive Vav on an imperfect. Hard to say. Um, so that would be a imperfect plus a Vav. Hard to say. But in any case, we have the subject here, daughters of uh, the human race, and they bore for them. So it seems that the Nephilim, whoever they are, are described by the phrase, they are the mighty ones who were of antiquity, men of name. But of course, they're going to be wiped out in the upcoming flood. To get a name requires more than just the reputation. It's something that we'll see the Lord gives to Abraham in Genesis chapter 12.